Dr. Thatcher has stated time and time again, he was the 16th Surgeon General, that you know there is no health without mental health. And so for us, as we've looked at trying to understand the economic and health impact of mental illness in this country, it was clear to us that there would be a significant impact. But what was that? And so for us, yes, it was surprising. We, um, we found that within a four year period with the limited data sets that we were able to get our hands on that almost 117,000 lives were lost during that period owing to mental illness. And it cost us $278 billion. That's astronomical. And again, that's an underrepresentation because of the limited data sets. We know that number is much higher. Those numbers are much higher. I think this study has provided really tangible evidence of how you know, decades of systemic health inequities have worsened the health outcomes of these um, minoritized uh, groups. So you know, this society has intentionally erected barrier after barrier to weaken their bodies and hasten their deaths. We know it is not an accident. Um, it is not an organic outcome when we see you know, these health disparities, these health inequities among racial and ethnic minority groups. And so you know, in terms of what's worse than that, we know there are a host of things from the social determinants of health to the political determinants of health to issues that are more cultural, right, from stigma and so forth. So I think those forces, those factors have led to the higher rates of health inequities that we see. As we approach the heels of Mental Illness Awareness Week, which is the first week of October, you know, it is worth pointing out that mental illness is a chronic disease. It is not an acute or temporary condition. And I think for too long in our country, mental health, behavioral health has been relegated to an inferior position. There, you know, on this hierarchy of chronic diseases, right, um, it falls really low. And I think healthcare administrators, healthcare executives, really could help us bolster greater attention that is paid to this um, critically important issue if they were to prioritize it, if they were to ensure that there is parity between mental health and physical health, and actually dedicate the investments, the time and attention to it, uh, so that we can elevate um, whole health. 